Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So in this lesson, we are going to connect Grafana to Amazon Timestream database, and then we are going to create some beautiful dashboard. So here are the high level steps which we are going to follow. First of all, we are going to go ahead and create a database in Timestream. And then of course, we are also going to go ahead and create a table. Then we are going to insert some data to the table. Now while inserting the data to the table, we need to make sure we insert some dimensions and measures. I'm going to come to this in a moment. And after that, we are also going to go ahead and create a user in AWS and that user is going to be used when we are going to connect Grafana and Timestream. Now the user which we create in AWS we will also need to give that user permission to read and write to Timestream database because what we are going to do is we are going to insert some data using Python program so we have to make sure that user in AWS has access to read and write to Timestream database and generally this is the policy which you can insert if you are creating the user uh, these are the access you should give to the user but for the demo we might not be specific we might go ahead and give admin access now once we are done with that in grafana we are going to go ahead and configure time stream data source plugin and then we are going to create some queries going to go ahead create some panels and dashboards in grafana now here are just some sample queries which i have put it here but of course you can go ahead and use your own query i'm going to show example of some of these queries and again we may use some other queries as well again depending on the panel which we choose during the lesson and if you just see below this i have pasted some important link for example if you need to know a bit more about grafana variables you can always go ahead and see this official documentation and then I have also pasted this Python program we are going to use this Python program to insert weather data to time stream now let's discuss about the data which we are going to insert to time stream so I'm going to go ahead and insert weather data to time stream now typically when we are inserting data in time stream database it doesn't matter whether it is AWS time stream or whether it is any sort of time stream database typically we will have to use time because time is one of the mandatory fields in time series database and then then we are going to have dimensions and measures. So dimension is something which we are going to use to categorize data. For example, we may want to see weather data for any specific country. So in this case, country is going to be one dimension. And then we have temperature. Temperature is called measures. In this case, measure is the one which is going to have the value. For example, here you can see in the time, I have just put some relative time. But in reality, this is going to be the exact time at which we are inserting the data. So in this example here, you can see a minute ago, India's temperature was 33 degrees degree celsius so this is a dimension which we inserted and this is the measure which we inserted and this way we can continue to insert data now this is an example where we are going to insert data related to only single country but of course you can have multiple values in country for example you can see in this case we have multiple countries and for each country we are going to insert temperature data so here you can see minute ago india's temperature was 33 degree and then canada's temperature was 22 degree celsius now of course all of this is dummy data and made up data and we are going to just generate this sample data using python script so i hope this is quite clear so we have to have one field which is time okay so we have to have one dimension or multiple dimensions for example we can have country if we want to have multiple dimensions we can have cities or states and in that case we'll be able to break down our data based on states or cities and we can have multiple measures as well for example in this case we are just inserting temperature of each country but if you are interested in maybe let's say air quality index you can go ahead and insert that as well if you are interested in inserting humidity level you can go ahead and do that as well so let's go ahead and create database and table and then with the help of python we are going to go ahead and insert data to the aws time stream so once you are logged into aws console this is how probably you are going to see now here in the search you can go ahead and search for time stream and we are going to go ahead and open up amazon time stream now here on the left hand side you can see databases and tables so let's go ahead and click on databases now once i click on databases you can see i already have a couple of databases created but in this case i'm just going to go ahead and create a new database let's go ahead click on create database and we are going to go ahead create a standard database i'm going to name it grafana weather database and then you can scroll down here you can see there is kms key which is going to be used for encryption we are not going to go ahead and change anything here so just scroll down and we can go ahead click on create database within seconds we already have our database created which is called grafana weather database now let's go ahead click on this now here you are going to see there are three tabs available under the monitoring, we are going to see some data related to our database performance. And in the tables, you are going to see all the tables which we have created under this database. So we are going to go ahead and click on create table and going to go ahead and create a table. So I'm going to go ahead and name it temperature table or let's just name it temp table. And now if you scroll down, you can see we have an option of partitioning our data. 
but in this case let's go ahead and just select default partitioning now once we scroll down we have some option related to data retention how long you want the data to be in memory store retention for example in this case i just want our data to be in memory store retention for one hour and i want to keep it in magnetic store retention only for one day because this is for demo purpose and i don't want to keep paying money for demo data so let's go ahead scroll down and once you scroll down here you can see if there is any error when reading writing to time stream database you can keep those errors in s3 buckets but in this case we are not going to go ahead and store it so i'm just going to scroll down and here you can see we have option of clicking on create table so i'm just going to go ahead click on create table all right so now we have this database called grafana weather db and we have table name which is called temp table now if i just go ahead click on this temp table you can see i'm able to see summary of this table now here in the actions we can just go ahead click on query table and here you can see there is an interface which we can use to query our table you can see there is a default query available here but if you don't want to use it just go ahead and remove it and then do select star from name of the database which is grafana weather db and then name of the table which is temp table and then we are going to go ahead click on run now here you can see our query executed successfully but since there is no data that's the reason we are not going to see anything so now we need to insert some data in our table and for that we are going to go ahead and use python script so here you can see on github i have already created a script which i have put here you can go ahead copy this script from here and then you can run it now in this case i have already copied this script and kept it on google collab so here you can see this is the script and now here in the access key we need to provide the the correct access key and secret key now i'm going to show you how to create this so let's go ahead to aws again and i'm just going to open aws in another tab and here we are going to type iam let's click on iam and here we need to create a user so i'm just going to go ahead click on users and let's go ahead create a new user so let's click on create user and i'm going to name this user as grafana demo user and we don't need to give this user access to aws console so i'm just going to not check it just leave it as it is and click on next and here you can see an option of adding user to the group so if you have already created some group you can add this new user to any of the existing groups otherwise in our case we can just go ahead and attach policies directly to this user and here in the policies we are going to go ahead search for time stream and here you can see there is an option of amazon time stream full access so we are just going to go ahead select it and then let's go ahead click on next and then click on create user now once we do that you can see we have grafana demo user available here so let's go ahead click on it now here you can see this is the interface of the user which we created now here you should be able to see an option of creating an access key so we are going to go ahead click on create access key and here we are just going to scroll down and going to select application running outside aws then go ahead click on next and we don't need to provide any tag value so just go ahead click on create access key and now here you can see access key and secret access key so i'm just going to go ahead copy this access key and this is a python program where we need to paste the access key so i'm just going to go ahead paste the access key here and then we are also going to go ahead copy this secret key i'm just going to go ahead and paste it here now one thing you need to make sure is that you don't share access key and secret key with anyone so after this tutorial of course i'm going to go ahead and remove these access keys now let's go ahead click on done and this is giving you warning that you haven't really downloaded this access key so if you want to download it you can just click on download.csv file in this case we have already copied it so i'm just going to go ahead click on done and let's click on continue and here you can see now you are able to see the access key okay so now we should be able to go to this python program which we just created and we just need to scroll down and here you can see under the try block we need to provide the database name and table name so let's go ahead and copy the database name which we created uh, this is the database name grafana weather db which we created in aws stream and let's go ahead paste it here in this program and table name let's go ahead copy this as well and we are going to go ahead and paste the table name here now we can go ahead and run this so i'm just going to go ahead and run this python program and here you can see it has started inserting data in aws time stream so if you see this program we are inserting data every 60 seconds so here you can see there is a sleep of 60 seconds but if you want to insert data every one second you can just go ahead change this sleep to maybe one second if you want to increase it go ahead and increase it now let's say if you are getting error in running this python program just go ahead and make sure you have boto3 installed because this is the only external library which we need in order to run this python program otherwise this python program is quite simple now we can go ahead go back to time stream database and here we are going to run select star from grafana weather db dot temp table again let's go ahead click on run 
and this time you can see that we have some sample data available for each of these countries so here you can see in this case country is basically going to be called a dimension and we'll be able to break down our data based on this dimension and then we have a measure name which is called temperature and this is the value of these measures so everything looks okay here now we can go ahead and move to grafana now in grafana first of all we are going to go ahead and create a connection so let's go ahead click on add new connections and here we are going to search for time stream here you can see we have amazon time stream let's click on that and now here you should be able to see an option to install it if it is not installed and once the installation is completed you are going to see an option of adding a new data source so in my case i have already installed it so i'm just going to go ahead click on add new data source and now here you can see this is a default name for this data source if you want to change it you can go ahead and change it we can keep it grafana time stream data source now under the authentication provider in this case since we have created access and secret key we are going to use that and access key and secret key we can go ahead and copy paste from our python program so i'm just going to go ahead copy the access key and going to go ahead and paste it here let's go ahead and paste this access key as well now in the assume role arn or external id or endpoint we don't really need to paste anything in the default region we can go ahead and select the default region in my case i'm keeping everything under us east one so i'm just going to go ahead and use it now if you don't know the default region you can just go to time stream and here you can see it is showing north virginia and under north virginia you can see us east one so this is the default region in my case so that's why i have put us east one now for the database we can just go ahead click on this and it should be able to show us the database so here you can see there are three databases available and the one which we are going to use is grafana weather db and under the table let's go ahead select it you can see we have temp table available which we are going to choose and if we click on measures so here you can see we have temperature available so let's go ahead select it now let's go ahead click on save and test if everything is okay it is going to give a connection success message now we are going to go ahead and create a new dashboard now here we are going to go ahead click on add visualization and we are going to use grafana time series data source now here you can see this is the query panel which is being shown i'm just going to create more space here now here we can go ahead and start writing the query for example i can do select star from grafana weather db temp table and i guess this should be enough i should be able to do refresh dashboard and here you can see we do have some data available now in case you are not really familiar with the query you can go ahead and see there are some sample queries available for in this for example in this case i can just go ahead and select first 10 rows and go ahead and refresh the dashboard again so here you can see now this is going to limit the query by only 10 rows now in this case of course we don't want to perform any limitation so i'm just going to remove it now just let's go ahead and change it to last 15 minutes so we can see the data clearly here you can see all the data points now one thing if you notice it is just saying measure value it is not really showing the temperature data based on the countries and the reason for that is if you just scroll down on the left hand side you can see in the frames we have this formatted as table so we need to change it to time series now you can see we are getting some errors so here you can see it is saying that time series data must be sorted in ascending order so what we are going to do is let's go ahead and sort it i'm just going to do order by time and in ascending order and then let's go ahead click on refresh dashboard and now you can see our data is sorted and here you can see now we have data available for each of the countries let's go ahead click on apply and here you can see temperature data is available for each of the countries now of course we can go ahead and improve the query uh, first thing which we want is we want the ability to have some filters for example i may want to see temperature only for a specific country or maybe selected countries and in order to do that we can go ahead and create variables so we are going to go ahead click on dashboard settings and then we are going to move to variables and then we are going to go ahead and choose add variable now here we are going to go ahead select query and here we need to give a name to this variable so i'm going to go ahead and give an option of filtering on any country so i'm going to call this variable as country and then we can just scroll down here you can see we need to provide the query which we are going to use so in this case i can just go ahead and say select distinct country and after the from we can just go ahead copy it and then we can go ahead paste it so this should be able to provide list of all the countries which are available in our database now just scroll down and here you can see under preview of values we are already able to see all the countries data which is available in our database so if you don't see the data you can go ahead click on run query it should be able to go ahead and pull the data now here you can see variable value is of course not sorted if you want to go ahead and sort this you can just do order by one and now if i do run query you can see now this data is sorted if you want to sort it in descending order you can just go ahead and do order by one descending so this is pretty much sql queries and then just go ahead click on apply 
then go ahead and close it now here you can see we have a filter available but if i select for example india you can see our data is not really reflecting the changes because in our query we are not really using this variable so i'm going to go ahead edit this panel and here you can see we have select star from database table order by this now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and insert a where clause so i'm just going to do where country equal to country variable so if you are referring to grafana variable you have to append this dollar in the beginning now we are going to go ahead and refresh it now there seems to be some syntax issue uh, because we have to put this dollar country in single quotes and then go ahead and refresh it now you can see we have data available only for india if i go ahead change it from india to maybe canada and refresh it you can see now we have data available for canada so let's go ahead click on apply and let's go ahead change the filter to maybe uk so here you can see this is how it's gonna look like now here you can see we are seeing measure value and we are seeing the label such as country uk and then measure name now if you want to maybe change it and if you just want to see only the country names you can go ahead click on edit click on transform data let's click on add transformation let's go ahead and click on rename here you can see we have an option of renaming field by regex and here we can do dot star or i guess we have to improve it little bit okay so i'm just going to use this regex pattern but of course you can go ahead and uh, probably use some better regex pattern if that is available but in this case i'm just going to go ahead and use it so it is going to show us the selected country now let's go ahead click on apply now if you want the ability to select multiple countries we have to update this variable so i'm just going to go ahead go to dashboard settings go to variables select this variable and just scroll down you can see we have an option of multi value so let's go ahead and enable it click on apply click on close and now we are going to select multiple countries for example i'm just going to go ahead select india and germany and now you can see as soon as we do that we are going to get some error now we are getting the error because here you can see in this query syntax we are writing country equal to country but of course we have to go ahead and change this sql so rather than using country equal to country we have to use country in for example typically if we have to provide multiple values we have to use something like this here you can see i can go ahead and use india and then in single quotes i can go ahead and use germany and then if i refresh it i'm going to see a value for multiple countries so we have to make sure that our variables inserts the data in this format so in order to learn all of these formatting of course you have to go ahead and learn it from this link but in this case i already have this query ready made available so we are just going to do where country equal to any values so we are just going to go ahead and use this let's go ahead paste it here and then refresh it and now you can see we have ability to select multiple countries for example you can see we have selected three countries or we can just go ahead select only one country for example only india and you can see we have data available now let's go ahead click on apply so here you can see everything is working fine now typically in time stream database we also want to do some sort of grouping for example rather than seeing the exact temperature we may want to see average temperature of last 5 minutes or average temperature by days in that case we have to use some advanced query for example here you can see we have option of binning i'm just going to go ahead and use this query let's go ahead edit this and we are going to go ahead uh, copy paste that query here now let's refresh it and here you can see this is going to show us data based on certain interval now here you can see i'm using interval variable this is again grafana variable so if you want to change value of this for example let's say if you want average temperature hourly you can just go ahead in the minimum interval you can just go ahead and put one hour uh, one h and then refresh it now in this case we don't really have enough data because we just created this query some time ago so i can just go ahead probably change it to maybe let's say five minutes so here you can see we don't really have enough data because we just started this tutorial 15 to 20 minutes ago but you can see now our query has changed a little bit now in this case i'm not really even going to hard code it i'm just going to remove it and let grafana handle this minimum interval so i'm just going to go ahead click on apply now one thing if you notice is uh, it is showing average temperature india rather than only the country name because the regex which we had used in previous query uh, needs to be updated now in this case because we changed our query the label is different so of course we have to change the regex pattern as well for example i can just go ahead and change it to this one and then click on apply now again i can go ahead and 
select any of the country and our data is going to be shown properly i'm just going to go ahead change it to last 15 minutes and here you can see the data now here if you want to enable an option of selecting all rather than selecting each country one by one uh, we can go ahead and do that as well so i'm just going to save this dashboard first and i'm going to go ahead call it time stream dashboard click on save and then we can click on dashboard settings go to variables click on variable name which is country and here you can see an option of including all option let's go ahead and enable it click on apply and then close this dashboard now here we don't really see an option of selecting all so we have to just save the dashboard again and then we are going to refresh it or reload it and then you can see we now have an option of selecting all so i'm just going to go ahead select all and you can see now we have temperature data available for all the countries so that's all I had for this lesson. If you have any query, feel free to write in the comment box and I'll be more than happy to answer it.